Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the cross stitch, which is a pretty simple book binding method. So if you would like to see that, then stay tuned. Hey guys, so the first thing we're going to do is I have already created a little stencil for where I want my holes to be in my cover. I have built four signatures for the cross stitch. If you're going to do the cross stitch in any form, you're going to need an even number of signatures. And you can do uh, as many crosses on the spine as you want. I'm going to do two sets of crosses going down. I really love this stitch because there's so many different variations of it, um, but I'm just going to show you the basic, basic method and then we will build from there and I'll show you some other really cool ones that I've discovered. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use these butterfly clips and we are going to take our stencil and place it over the spine and make sure that the stencil is aligned correctly so that you're putting the holes where you actually want them in the spine. So I have drawn, if you can see that, I have drawn a line where my stencil is going to meet the crease of the book. So I have that there and then I have another one here and that's just as a guide to show me where my stencil is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and Place this here, make sure they're lined up, and then I'm going to just clip them to my book exactly where I want them. This is the part you want to make sure you get absolutely right because if you mess this up, then your holes in the spine will be slightly off. If you're doing a really complex book binding method, that could be a bad thing. So I'm going to just ensure that this is exactly where I want it before we start. Okay, so now that I have my stencil where I want it, I'm just going to go down through each hole with my awl and I'm just going to poke it directly through my stencil into the book cover and through the back, through the spine. Okay, at this point I have punched all of my holes through the spine. I have an even number of rows on the spine because I, I need a top row and a bottom row for each X. So it has to have an even number of rows and it has to have an even number of signatures for a cross stitch. <clears throat> the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stencil off and I'm just going to fold along, actually I'm going to fold this way, along one row like this. I'm going to fold to so this row here. I'm just going to fold along that row, or I should say column. That's more of a column, isn't it? <laughs> I'll fold along a column of points so that we can punch holes in our signature. So I have just built a little basic signature just to demonstrate this process with you. So we're going to take this stencil and we're going to put it in the center of our signature and we're going to line it up as best as we can. I've drawn a line to indicate the bottom of my book cover and I'm just using the top edge of the graph paper as my guide for the top edge of this of the signature. I hope that made sense. And then I'm just going to clip this once. It's not going to move around on me that much. And I'm simply going to go down this column of points and go ahead and poke through my signature. And then we can take the stencil off and we have 
our holes for when we go to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and clip these together so they don't shift around on me. And we can move on to the next signature. Again, we're just going to put the stencil that we folded along the column. We're gonna put that stencil directly in the center of the signature. Clip it just so it doesn't move while you're trying to poke your holes. And then go down the column. and clip these pages together so they don't shift around and repeat for the remaining signatures. Okay, once you have all of your holes punched and all of your signatures and your spine, then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and begin the binding process. Okay guys, so I have you in a little bit of a different position so you can see what I'm doing. The next thing I'm going to do is take my thread. I'm using just a, a white wax linen thread and I'm going to take about, I'd say about two and a half feet of thread. Go ahead and cut that off. And then I have a needle here, it's a pretty heavy gauge needle doesn't really matter as long as you can get it through the, the spine of the book then it will work and I've just threaded my needle just so that I have a little bit of a tail on the other side the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our signatures and I'm going to start from the back and work my way to the front you don't necessarily have to do that with this stitch but it makes it a little bit easier I suppose so, okay, the first thing that you're going to want to know is this is not going to be like the pamphlet stitch. With the pamphlet stitch, you're just going to go straight down a signature. With this stitch, you're going to actually work with two signatures at once. So, get your back two signatures. You don't necessarily have to do it this way, but I like to start with this top right corner, and we're going to make an X right back here. So, I have a top signature and a bottom signature here. And we're going to start with the top signature and we're going to go through the very first hole and then we're going to feed it through this top hole of the spine and it's going to come through right here. So we're going to start, can you see that? Yeah. So we're going to start right here on this top right corner. And I'm just going to feed the, the thread through that until I'm left with just a little bit of a tail like this. Okay, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and feed it through this next hole down here so that we can begin our first cross. So this is actually going to be the bottom signature. We've just fed the needle through this bottom hole. This is the second hole on the bottom signature. And we're going to feed that all the way through. And that will create our first cross. Okay? And then after that, we're going to go up to the top hole of this bottom signature and go ahead and feed that through. And feed that through the spine as well. And then as you do this stitch, you're going to want to make sure that you pull it as tight as possible without pulling your thread all the way through. Because this stitch is not going to allow you to go back and really tighten up those threads later like the pamphlet stitch does. So as I'm going, I'm just tugging on the thread just to make sure that it is pulled all the way through. And then we're going to go ahead and complete our second cross and we're going to go through this hole here. And this is the second row, second column, and this is the top signature. Feed that all the way through. And pull it nice and tight. I've got my finger on the on the tail thread that we left at the beginning. 
Make sure it's pulled all the way through there. And then you can also pull the little tail thread. Sometimes I'll tuck the little tail in under my paper clip like that, and then it won't go anywhere and it won't pull out, hopefully. But just be careful when you do that because if you pull too hard, it can slip out at this stage anyway. Okay, so now we have our first cross. We're going to move on to the second cross and that's gonna be down here. And at this point, we are already in the top signature of the book. So we're going to stay in the top signature and we're just going to move on to the next available hole. And we're going to go ahead and put it through that and put it through the spine. And that's going to start us on at the top right corner of this X. And we can go ahead and pull that through. And then we're going to start our next cross going through the bottom hole of the bottom signature. And so we're going to go ahead and pull this through all the way until it's nice and tight. And then we're going to go back and put our needle through the last hole of the bottom signature that is available. And that is the third hole here. And feed that through the spine as well. We can go ahead and pull that one nice and tight. And then the only one we have left to do is this last cross on the X. And so we're going to go through the bottom hole of the top signature. I know this is a lot to hold on to. It's a little bit more difficult than the pamphlet stitch because you have to hold on to two signatures at once and make sure that they don't come flying apart. And also trying to hold on to that while you're trying to pull things tight can be a little bit difficult. But after you do this once or twice, you really get the hang of it, it's super easy. It's really not a hard stitch. It looks a little bit difficult, but it's really not as hard as it, as it looks. <laughs> okay, so all we've done, just to recap, is we've started in the top right corner of the first cross, and we've made a cross this way. We have gone up, to the top hole of this signature and gone across to this signature. And then we've gone down and then crossed to this signature, up and then crossed to this, this signature. So at this point, we are in the top signature. We have our thread pulled as tightly as we can possibly get it. We're going to feed the needle right under this previous stitch and we're just going to feed it through there and then we're going to tie it off with this little thread that we had left over from the beginning. I like to double knot them because I like to feel like my, my book binding is secure so I'm going to double knot this and my hand is right in the way so you cannot see it. So I, all I've done is I've double knotted these together and then we can go ahead and cut off our excess. I like to cut pretty close to the top, but if you wanted to hang something from there, you could certainly do that as well. And there's the back and the center of that one. We have one little stitch here and one little stitch here. And so that is the first two signatures, and then we will go ahead and repeat this process with the top two signatures. So let me redefine. This one is the bottom signature now, and this one is the top signature now. Okay, so let's repeat that process for the second set of crosses that we're going to do. So I'm gonna get about two feet or so, two and a half feet, so again, we're gonna start from the top right corner and then we're going to go down. So we're going to start with our new top signature. We're going to feed it through the first hole and the first hole of the spine as well. Okay. And then we're just going to leave ourselves just a little bit of a tail. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that under my paper clip here. 
And then we can go ahead and proceed to the next hole to create our X, and that is going to be the second hole of the bottom signature. And I'm going to pull it as tight as I possibly can without pulling out my thread. And then we're going to move up to the first hole of the bottom signature. And go ahead and thread that through the spine as well. And this will begin our second, the second part of our cross. There we go. And then the last thing we're going to do with this X is go through the second hole of the top signature. And then after that, we're going to go to the next available hole in our signature that would be the third one down for me. And we're going to feed that through the spine. So again, we're starting from the top right corner of our X. And pull that one as tight as you possibly can without pulling out your thread. And then we're going to go down to the bottom next. hole of the bottom signature. And we're going to move up to the third hole of the bottom signature and feed that through the spine. And then last hole is on the top signature. We'll complete our X. And pull it as tight as possible. And then again, we're going to feed the needle under this thread here. And then tie it off. And again, I'm going to double knot this. There's one. And the second one. And then we can take our clips out. And there you have it. That is the cross stitch. I hope that that was beneficial to you in some way and that I could explain it pretty well. And I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you have any questions for me about the cross stitch, leave them in the comment section below. If you're interested, I'll show you some really cool variations on the cross stitch that I really enjoy doing. One variation that you may have already seen by now is this one. This is my personal junk journal. And this is simply a cross stitch. If you can see here and here is one cross and then here and here is another cross. That is one variation of the cross stitch that I really love. And I will be happy to show you that as well as any other variation that I can find because there are tons of them. This is my favorite part of the book binding process. So, so any, anything about binding, I would love to make videos on all day long. I hope to get better at making tutorial videos for you, <laughs> but I hope that you got something out of that video, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.